Driving up north on the Transcanada Highway. The night is sweet, a thousand stars. I'm driving up north on the Transcanada Highway. The night is sweet, a thousand stars. Should I stay with you? I know. Should I stay for more? Should I stay with you? I know now. Don't wanna leave anymore. Wanna be in the home of love and light with you. Ah! I wanna be in the home. <laughs> The harvest moon it is playing in the car. The good old Neil Young is on my side once again. I can see your eyes and I can feel your pulse. This is her. Gives me the rhythm. Should I stay with you? I know. Should I stay for more? Should I stay with you? I know now. Don't wanna leave anymore. I wanna bail a home. In the van. So we are. How far south are we? We're like 70 miles south, down the coast from Split. Now we left today. <laughs> what are you doing? That was a bird. The beak. What? <laughs> what kind of bird has a pink beak? <laughs> Look at this restaurant. We're the only people here. There's actually nobody in town. Like we're walking around. There's like. Zero people walking around. I guess it is January 5th, so there's nobody here in this town. This is the town, so when you leave Split to go south, drive along the coast most of the way. That's the way we chose to drive because it's nicer and more scenic. You could go inland and take the toll road, which is faster, but you know, we didn't want to, we didn't want to missed out on the scenery and we didn't we're not in a huge hurry so our plan was to get down to Ploche by sunset which <laughs> we made it happen basically from here from Ploche you can keep going south and there's gonna be like a little gap little coastline on the Adriatic coast that's Bosnia if we're gonna keep driving down to Dubrovnik on the coastline we'll have to cross that little Bosnian gap it's a little tricky for us because we hadn't looked into getting insurance for Bosnia traveling outside of the EU because Croatia is in the EU, Bosnia is not. And the alternative is get to Ploče, take a ferry across to this peninsula that's just offshore from here. And that peninsula will connect you back into Croatia without having to go across Bosnia. So that's what our plan is. That's what we're going to do. So we're going to spend the night here. But anyway, we're excited to be back on the road. 
We're having dinner at this really deserted restaurant. So I'll show you guys in a minute when the food gets here how it looks. Are you, are you hitchhiking? <laughs> <laughs> How dare you? <laughs> How dare you? I forgot to show this before we started digging in. <laughs> Got our meat platter. That's the girls' spaghetti and meat sauce platter. I got nothing. So and here's my you little make? sandwich I made. We didn't get nothing you're sharing with us. So this is the town of Ploche. We have these little little shacks which presumably they sell donuts, homemade sausages, beers and coffees and stuff like that. Like they do in Split, just on a much smaller scale. There's a stage. They probably have some music during Christmas. But it's cold. It's in the 30s. It'll probably be in the low 30s tonight. We uh, got to figure out where to park, where to spend the night, and see how the heater works. We've not really used the heater yet, being that this is our first night back in the van after about three and a half months. And three and a half months ago, wasn't this cold. So we'll see. We'll see how it goes. Right over here, that's the Riva which if you saw my video from Split, this is the uh, waterfront area of Ploche. Here in Europe, the most popular camping app for people that want to just find a place to park for the night or RV services and stuff like that is uh, it's called Park for Night. By far the most popular that I can tell. Uh, iOverlander works, there's stuff on there too, but I think Park for Night, the number four night, by far has the, uh, has the most data. So it shows that this area right here, in front of Hotel Bebich, is uh, okay for overnight parking. So I'm just walking over here to see how things look. Like if we're able to drive in here or not. I think it looks okay. There's nobody here, so I'm guessing it'll work. I mean, we're so, so, so deep into the off season. It's unbelievable. But yeah, check this out. That's the hotel. There's one car here. There's no cars here at all. But I believe we can just park right here. Well, we're gonna try. Just for one night. See what happens. Wait, stop, stop for a second, stop for a second. Yeah. Okay. Are you not freezing? Yes, I am. What is mama? Oh, I thought she was riding that baby swing. <laughs> baby swing. That swing. <laughs> Dangerous. This thing looks totally safe too. Yeah, it does. Wait, what's Remember? What's You're at the other playground that had one of these and Luca almost broke his neck. Because he, he was playing around. Hey guys. Whoa! <laughs> I only have one arm and it's kind of wobbly. I always use one arm. I feel like I'm going to break this. Driving up north on the trans Canada Highway. Good morning. We parked right there last night. But there were people walking by, coming back from the bars, I guess, fairly late in the night, which was 
know, it's a Saturday, so I expected that. And right here, next to the port, there's plenty of cats that the kids are getting to feed with Yoda's leftover cat food. Fat cats get hungry too. I know. Well, this guy had to put his dog on a leash. Hey, mama, like, Hi, little guy. Here, they have, like, rice and fish. Yeah? Yeah. Don't be scared. Them. Hey, 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 it's okay. It's a camera. You never seen one before? You just scared of people. You scared of my camera. So it looks like this is where they feed these cats' leftovers. But uh, that looks pretty old and pretty gross. These guys look like they want... Oh my god, there's so many. There's one, two, three, four. Just right here. There's one up there. See, there's one up there trying to come down. black and white one. He was down here and then I went oh, by he was? and he got scared. Yeah. That one right there, he doesn't want to come out. He just gets... Is he super scared? Look at that one. He has a like hurt eye. Oh, yeah. Usually when they get hurt, they get more scared of people. This one's okay. Yeah, this one's not hurt. They're still a little scared of people. Maybe if we move away, they'll come down. Oh, look at that one. They're like jungle cats. Usually people park this way. But we park this way because we're kind of long. And I think people do drive their car through here, like that guy. So then we park this way. That's a pretty good spot for the night. It's free. And it's right by the town right here which we're gonna walk into town and get some breakfast. Today we're gonna take the ferry over to the peninsula that kind of juts out from Dubrovnik. It comes out and comes up the coast. That way we don't have to go south from here and pass through that little stretch of Bosnian coastline. So that's our plan for the day. We also gotta organize the van a bit more. I gotta set up the heater. Last night the temperature dropped down to like 30 5, 30, between 34 and 36. When we went to bed it was 39 and it didn't feel that cold in there with five bodies and you know all of our body heat. It got a little chilly in the middle of the night. I think we need maybe another blanket on all of us on top of our comforter which is pretty warm already. Actually the kids have a comforter each so in that sort of queen slash king size bed up above they have three comforters so i think they're plenty warm we need a i think another blanket to go over our comforter down below and also behind us behind our head is the back door of the van we didn't fully insulate all the all the spaces within all the cavities in the back door you can definitely feel the cold air radiating from the metal that's kind of passing through on the outside other than that we did pretty well last night we found a bunch of cats and two crabs crabs too yeah. hey there's a puppy and one dog and a dog but yeah we need to set up our catalytic heater which i've had a uh, all the plumbing done for the propane. We just have to connect it and figure out a good place to run it at night. So that's our goal for the day. Other than that, nothing much, just keep heading south. Driving up north on the Trans Canada Highway. 